I wish we could say that self-defenders could win every fight they get into, but unfortunately, that's just not the case. Hi everyone, this is John with today's Active Self-Protection Lesson. Today's lesson is an armed robbery in Houston, and it ends tragically with the death of the owner of the store. It teaches us some important lessons here about spiritual fitness, also about having your firearm in a ready condition, about being able to use your hands, and about training your employees about how to help you in a self-defense encounter. Make sure to go read the news stories on this one, everyone. You see this guy come in and try to rob this convenience store, and the employee does a pretty good thing here. When the gun comes out, he decides to head to the back office where he knows that the owner is armed. So they shut the door here and try to keep this guy out, but he's bigger than they are, and he's stronger, and they don't have good foothills. Now the owner goes to get a gun here, but the bad guy has one as well. They get in a shootout, and the bad guy gets the shot off first and kills the owner right there on the spot and then he runs off. They caught this man a little while later. Let's go back and learn a few lessons from this tragic incident. First of all, you know, in a convenience store robbery, the bad guy always gets to set the ambush. He does, and the employee does a good job of just getting out of there. Now, the employees decide here that they're gonna try to barricade. That's a great idea if you can get that barricade up and the door locked, but it didn't work in this instance. And I want you to notice that this owner here, he's going across his waist. He's going for the gun here, but it's held in a cross draw position. There's a great reason that I don't recommend that because he has such a hard time getting to it. So he finally gets it out here, but he doesn't have a full firing grip on the gun either. He actually went to go get it with his left hand and he finally gets a hold of the gun here, but now he has to go and make it ready. And these are the things that cost him the time that cost him his life. So you see him finally get a full firing grip on the gun and now he's got a chamber around. How many times do I say, please keep your firearm in a ready condition, ready to fire, ready to go and easily accessible because all that time that he had to spend doing that lets this guy get his hand out, see that there's a gun that's coming into the fight and get his hand in the fight and jam up everything that this guy wanted to do. And because of that, then he has to get the gun away. And now the bad guy gets his gun in the fight first. And now we're going to have a 50-50 here. And unfortunately, the bad guy is going to get the shot off first that you see right there. And that was the fatal shot. So the lessons that we learn here are incredibly important. Keep your firearm in a ready condition, ready to fire. Keep it in a place that you can get to it quickly so that you don't have to spend the time that could cost you your life in a gunfight. Instead, keep it ready so you can cover your ASP.